welcome to a new video. Today is special. We're going traveling in the beast. Are we naming it the beast? I don't know. But it'd be our first road trip Perfect. to another RV park. We're going to go stay at the lake. That should be interesting. Um, you excited? I'm excited. She drove it the first time yesterday. Here, here's a clip of that. What she's doing, she's driving. Things are kind of falling back there. Good job, babe. She's racing a semi truck. She's racing a semi truck. Where'd he go? I don't see him in the mirror. A little squeaky in here. I don't see the semi truck. Is he passing? Is he coming up on us? Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, oh, I see him in the mirror. We're being passed. He's like, yep, yeah, I'll do speed limit. He's where we got that cushy ride. That was our pull up. That was at three, three quarters of a tank, so yeah. The loud diesel next to me. Yeah. It's a big one. Big one. Big one. So I got the plates put on. We just gotta put the sticker in the window to, uh, to be legal to be driving, I guess. We really haven't done that yet. Uh, we got gas in it yesterday. We filled up with propane. We have uh, almost a half a tank of water. I think that's fine. Black tanks are empty. Gray tanks empty. Uh, yeah, we lighten our load. We got stuff that we don't need to go to the lake with. We took it out and put it into the vehicle. So, or back into another storage. So yeah, we're, this should be exciting. People are weed eating around here, so gotta deal with that. But I did get my cameras and stuff off, my gutter clips. But yeah, we, we about to go traveling. We still gotta pull in the slide. Yeah, we're gonna uh, put power. I get the generator going. It's not too bad. You guys are here mowing, so there's grass everywhere. Got on hooks. So we got gas yesterday. That's saying 368 miles, but that was based on like two miles to the gallon. So it's 9.55. And uh, I don't have my full pilot yet. The kids are already comfortable. That's in sitting. I can't see her. There she is. There's the co-pilot. Hey, babe, can you go put the clothes back on the bed? Oh, we're moving on the bed back there. Well, bro. Can you? Can, can you put the? Um... Okay, so we're finally on the way. She's got some mashed potatoes to eat. She's relaxing. Um, I don't know about that ladder back there. Is that ladder gonna stay there? That's behind you. She's like, hey, what? Oh, yeah. Just be careful if you guys get up. Don't hurt yourself. Anyways, um, goal is for the TV to stay on the wall, but Athens there, she's gonna catch it. <laughs> it falls, so we are good. We're on the road, or about to be. Three hours, three hours? Yeah. Don't rush when you travel in an RV, apparently. Take it easy, just go. Go with the flow, you'll be all right. Seems a little noisy in here to me. We're traveling 60 miles an hour down the highway. We're about two hours into it, I think. Two hours and three minutes into our, into our trip. I won't know how noisy it is, so you can see it on the camera. The kids are alright. Yeah, maybe a diesel pusher wouldn't be as loud. Not that nice. We stopped at a truck stop in Navasota. It's pretty big, look. So it's pretty big. There, there's a Walmart truck pulling in. Um, anyways, so my T-Mobile home internet is still working great. 
getting 385 megabit download speeds right here. One more truck dude coming right at us, but she's about to drive. She is going to have it handled. We have like 50 minutes to go, right? 50 uh, miles to go? I don't, like, yeah, like 50 miles, I think. Okay. Um, so he's getting back in wide, wide camera. Yeah, it's noisy in here. Cruising down the road. Let's see how fast we're going. turn the radio up and drown out everything else. It's kind of relaxing with the, the sound too. It drowns out everything else. Lots of leg room here. I didn't even spot the Jafita. But I'm just going to sit here like this. And uh, these, these are nice. Put your elbows on. Bridge with water. trip stuff. Not anyone outside. We average 7.9 overall. Um, total time when I reset the thing is four hours. We didn't drive four hours. We drove, we drove 159 miles. At, we were cruising most of the time at 60, but there was a lot of road work that we hit. So yeah, that's it. 7.9 and our view is a bunch of uh, different RVs. The water's right there and it's behind us. This is what's in my back window right now. There is some. Hmm. Probably come in the bag for some food. Nope. Hey, you ready? Yeah. Benny's. very first time getting up on the wakeboard uh, like my sixth or seventh try total for the whole trip but second try that day that was like at 9 a.m. it was awesome uh, we went to crumble and we got some cookies they're huge so today's leaving day 
getting everything ready. Got the sewer done. Just gotta unhook power. And I'm putting some water into the fresh tanks. Yep, there's a lot of ducks here. And where that guy is. So the RV park we were staying at was, was right there. But family lives over here. So we just moved it. Moved it from one place to the driveway over here for a couple hours. So we got to run the generator the whole time. But that's what it's there for, it's to run. So it's not too loud. Here's the exhaust. It's not too bad. It is our first time traveling to see family in the, in the RV. Uh, it's nice to bring you home. home. There, everything's there, so you don't worry about what to do with the cat and stuff. Um, the thing is dirty now. I'm not used to it being so dirty, so we're gonna have to, when we get home, we're gonna have to wash it. And got a couple of the other videos coming up with the snap pads that we're getting, and uh, we gotta replace one of the zipper foots. It's supposed to be in tomorrow, so we got some things going on tomorrow. I think we're going to a pride parade, so tons of RVs. Boat well, doesn't even know she's even back here. She's just having a good time. She doesn't have to go. Maybe a tiny faster. He's up. And... That's your first time ever getting up on a board. It's called, I think it's called the ZUP board, the ZUP. It's an awesome board to try to get your kids to, to knee board, I think. Maybe a slack. All right.
7.6 miles a gallon overall with the generator running for four hours without moving. Not too bad. On the road again. So we're back from traveling. Um, it's in the morning, drink coffee. So the drive wasn't bad. Um, it's a little loud in this big old place. It reminds me of as a kid in high school, we used to travel for away games in a bus and loud, can't really hear anything but the bus and the road. And when you go over bumps, it bounces. That's what this feels like. It feels like a, a bus. Um, but we got about eight miles to the gallon round trip. Um, that's with running the generator the whole time. So on our last day of travel, when we drove back, um, it was, let me think, on for maybe, did we figure about seven hours that day? Generator was on for seven hours straight. So and when, I, when I got gassed at one time with 21 gallons um, at $100, that's where the, the gas station stops, is that, that dollar amount. I wasn't thinking, I should have put it all up and then paid again and felt cause I should have got a little bit more than 21 gallons because it was down to almost a half a tank. But it all worked out, everything was fine. So ho hopefully you enjoyed all our tubing and wakeboarding and kneeboarding videos. I'm just gonna show you clips of it, not the long videos of it. So it is what it is. Thanks for being here, that was our little travel. Now we got some other projects to do. So um, yeah. Anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe to the next one. Bye-bye.